de Mono Stable Multi Vibrator is an electronic circuit uh, that's also uh, named a one shot generator. And that means that when you uh, give the circuit a pulse at the input, uh, it can be a random pulse, it gives a pulse from a fixed length at the output. Um, the circuit is often made with a 555 chip, but in this case I have made it with uh, two transistors. And perhaps it doesn't work so nice compared to a 555 chip, but it also works good, I think. And I want to demonstrate it now. This is the test circuit. And uh, it's made with two transistors. This one, BC547B, here also a BC547B, and the time depending capacitor in this circuit is CX, that's here. And the time also depends on RX, RX, in this case it's 12K, but when you bridge that resistor with a 1K resistor, you will see that um, another waveform at the output. The time changes. These are the time dependent uh, components. And I've used here this capacitor 220 nanofarad in series with a 10 uh, nanofarad capacitor with the blue cap. And I want to demonstrate now uh, how the circuit works and especially all the oscilloscope views. I'm triggering the circuit with this sawtooth generator. You can set it to different frequencies. And at the moment the 220 uh, nanofarad capacitor is in use. And I'm triggering it at the moment with approximately 11 Hz or so, or 50 Hz somewhere here in this range, 11 Hz, 17 Hz. And here you can see the output at the monostable multivibrator. And I'm going to change the frequency from the sawtooth now. And still the time dependent capacitor is 220 nanofarad. And now I go to the lowest frequency on the sawtooth generator. You can see that the, uh, the pulse it is triggered by the sawtooth generator, but the, there is a fixed a pulse from a fixed length at the output. Um, now I can change the high value capacitor to a very low value capacitor. So now the 10 nanofarad capacitor is in use. And then we see another figure on the screen. Hope uh, the peak will come. You can see it. And this is the 10 nanofarad capacitor. A very small peak during a very short time. And you can set the uh, ratio uh, from the pulse by means of this potentiometer. So when I change the value from that potentiometer, the pulse from the very small pulse even gets thinner. I'm going to do that now. And you can see that there's a very tiny small peak that walks on the screen. I don't know why my uh, triggering from my oscilloscope don't, doesn't work. Perhaps the peak is too uh, too small to trigger the scope properly. But uh, the peak is visible. And the whole circuit is very easy to make with uh, two transistors. And interesting to do all kinds of experiments. You can set the amplitude by this po potentiometer. Um, 
And that's in fact all that is to tell about this uh, electronic circuit.